Kia ora koto, really quick rant, a rantette, a mini rant okay, about telephone etiquette, if you like, or telephone practice. Um, and I'm just posting this video because people have just pissed me off so much about this, really. I don't know if this falls into any of the normal categories of things that I do videos on. Uh, perhaps I'll create a new category. Okay. So you're on the phone to some agency. Now it might be it might be a bank or a financial institution or it might be somewhere you're booking a holiday, but you're having a phone conversation with somebody, and they're, they're obviously uh, finding out information. So they ask you questions, and then you can you can kind of you get the sense that they're they're doing something. You know, sometimes you can hear the the tappity tap of a keyboard. Sometimes you can't. <clears throat> so they're they're kind of looking up information, or they they're just inputting what you've just told them or what have you. But the line goes completely dead. They just disappear and they don't say anything. That drives me fucking nuts, okay? If, <laughs> if you're on the phone and you need to do something, okay, you need to say, right, okay, I'm just gonna input that now or I just need to, I'm just gonna put the phone down and uh, two seconds, uh, let me work this out or let me just uh, access the information or uh, it's just loading now, something like that. Don't just go quiet on the phone. This is like, you know, I suppose I used to be a DJ. And I suppose maybe, I don't know, maybe it comes from that, you know, that, you know, the, the cardinal sin of a DJ is dead air, you know, quiet time is nothing going out. You know, that's like the, the worst thing, you, well, the really worst things you can do. But that's one of the, one of the kind of the classic things not to do, okay? So when you're on the phone, somebody's talking, don't just do that. And people do that to me again and again and again, and it drives me absolutely fucking nuts. If you do this at work, then I hate you. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> I can forgive. I'm compassionate and I have empathy. But, you know, think about this, you know, the person can't see you, they don't know what you're doing. If you go, quiet you've got to say why you're going quiet okay i might call this room 101 i think maybe marky's room 101 and maybe we'll put this just on the patreon channel maybe i'll put this one on youtube uh and if you like it if you like it, i think people do quite enjoy that kind of thing don't they like it, kind of people having a bit of an angry rant um yeah that's what we'll do okay so this you are you know you are the first one to witness this if you're watching this this is a pioneer of a whole new series uh marky's room 101 there we go more to come more rants i look forward to ranting at you in the near future it would seem inappropriate to sign off with my usual uh rangi mario which means peace um i don't know what the what the equivalent would be really in um certainly not in tereo mario there's mate which is death but that's a little bit extreme isn't it to go from peace to death and death is a little bit strong uh what i want to convey is kind of irritation uh, so there we go. Any uh, experts in uh, Maori language, Te Reo Maori, want to post in the comments uh, a good Maori term for you know mild mild irritation? Uh, then I'll use that as my sign-off for a new series called Marky's Room 101, which will be on the Patreon channel. So if you don't know what the Patreon channel is, uh, it's a it's a brilliant thing where for very little money, uh, viewers and fans and people that want to support me in what I do, especially in ranting and raving, uh, can make a small uh, contribution to what I do. And when we say small contribution, we're talking uh, American dollar a month uh, gets you access to all the videos that are on Patreon, Patreon and other advantages. So sign up on Patreon. Details are in the, uh, the information down below. Uh, if you're a, a linguist, uh, tell me what you think would be a good sign off for the series on uh, kind of ranting and uh, loss for words now really for a kind of, you know, way to sign off. Um, goodbye.